have actually great unity in the Republican Party. You Yesterday I was... No, oh, that's okay. Look, you know, they have to do their thing. Uh, we have great unity. If you look at what happened yesterday at the meeting, we had, I guess, virtually every senator, uh, including John McCain. We had a great conversation yesterday, John McCain and myself, about the military. I think we had a, a I called it a love fest. It was almost a love fest. Maybe it was a love fest. But we get standing ovations. There is great unity. I mean, if you look at the Democrats with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, that's a mess. Do you, great do you, unity. But do you, do you, do you worry that the flaw your agenda? This country is in the gutter right now. Do you agree with that? Do you bear any responsibility? Well, I think for that? it's, I think it's sad. But I think to a large extent, in all due respect, I think the media causes a lot of it. Uh, fake stories are being reported. A lot of bad things are being reported that aren't true. And, you know, I think to a certain extent, maybe I can blame the media. But uh, politics is a rough business. There's no question about it. I will say this. I think the Republican Party has a pretty good unity. When I look at that room yesterday at lunch, and you know, and you reported on it very well, Kristen. I mean, you... You gave it a very good report. The fact is, there was tremendous unity in that room. Okay. And we're really unified. We're really unified on what we want to do. We want tax cuts for the middle class. We want tax cuts for businesses to produce jobs. There's great unity. Do you worry about what you step down in the Senate? You said you were dangerous Well, look, hey, look. Uh, he was against me from before he ever knew me. He wrote a book about me before I ever met him, before I ever heard his name. Uh, his poll numbers in Arizona are so low that he couldn't win. And I don't blame him for leaving. I think he did the right thing for himself. But if you know, long before he ever knew me, during the campaign, even before the campaign, I mean, he came out with his horrible book. And I said, who is this guy? In fact, I remembered the first time I saw him on television. I had not really been, nobody knew me in terms of politics, but the first time I saw him on television, I said, I assume he's a Democrat. Is he a Democrat? They said he's a Republican. I said, that's impossible. So look, his poll numbers are terrible. He's done terribly for the great people of Arizona, a state that likes Donald Trump very much, as you, even you will admit. And he would have never won. In fact, even in the primary, he's way down in the primary. So he did the smart thing for himself. This way he can get out somewhat gracefully. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.